Okay, good morning everybody. Um, this is a lesson for year nine business and it's lesson two. We're still looking at ownership and liability, but we're going into a bit more detail today about um, sole trader. First of all, um, we're going to do a little knowledge recall quiz from last lesson. So last lesson we looked at ownership and liability and we discussed um, bankruptcy, um, what unlimited liability meant, um, how much does it cost to register a business at Companies House, if you can remember that, and restricting the losses suffered by um, owner or shareholders to the sum of they invested is, is that limited or is that unlimited liability and then we looked at treating the business and owner as inseparable therefore making the individual responsible for all the own for all their own debt so is that limited or unlimited liability so i want you to have a pause and look at that and see if you can answer the question it will be on your work book which has been a company does accompany this PowerPoint. So it's activity 1.1. If you have a look on your workbook, it will say there as well 1.1 for you to do now. So let's look at the answers. Hopefully you've got them right. Um, what does the term bankruptcy bankrupt mean? So it's when an individual is unable to pay their debts even after their personal assets have been sold. Personal assets are things like a car, your house, um, you might have some expensive jewellery um, which might be worth a few thousand pounds or it can be any personal assets to make enough money to pay off all your debts. So it might be your very um, expensive um, TV, a PS4, um, anything like that, um, that you have got that could be sold off to pay all your debts. Um, so if the business has unlimited liability, what happens if it goes bankrupt? It means that um, the owner of the company will have to pay um, the debt, no one else except for the owner. Um, there, so that's when they have to look at selling their house, their cars, everything like that. Um, how much does it cost to register a business at Companies House? That is £150. That is all to do to make it a limited company. Um, restricting the losses suffered by owners, shareholders to the sum they invested in is called limited liability, which we discussed last time. And treating the business and owners as inseparable, therefore making the individual responsible for the debt, is unlimited liability. And again, I must stress that unlimited liability, um, if you can avoid it, I would. But we are going to look at a sole trader today. Okay, so the objectives of the lesson today. Uh, number one is to understand what a sole trader is. And number two is to be able to understand what the advantages of being a sole trader are. And number three is to understand the disadvantages of being a sole trader. So again, these are words that you will need for today's lesson. Ownership, we've discussed before, refer, refers to having possession of something. So if you're a owner of um, a gardening business, it would be... Um, your gardening business that you are the owner of, plus also all the equipment that you would have. Um, liability means that you're uh, responsible, you're legally responsible for any of the debt or financial commitments of a business. So if you take out a loan to buy all your gardening equipment, you will be responsible for that loan, no one else. Bankrupt, we've discussed when an individual is unable to pay their debts, even after they've sold their personal items. Unlimited liability is treating the business and the individual owner as inseparable, so they are one business, therefore making the individual responsible for all the debts of a failed business. Limited liability is when you restrict the losses, so you, you might have put in a £100 to start the business, you will only be liable to pay that £100 back, you won't be reliable for the rest of the debt, okay? And a sole trader is a business run by one person and they have unlimited 
liability for any business debts. Okay, so that's what we're going to investigate more today, sole trader. So what I want you to do now is think about who you know who may be a sole trader or any businesses around um, where you live or um, maybe um, in the high street, probably not in the main high street like Sutton, but maybe in a smaller high street, maybe somewhere like Class Shorten. So I'm going to give you some hints today. Um, this is activity 1.2 of your workbook. So think about who's your hairdresser? Um, do you have a window cleaner? Do you see a tutor? Um, and my friend is actually a website designer. She works by herself at home, from home. So going back to the hairdresser, do you have someone coming to your house or do you actually go to a shop? So think about that. A window cleaner. Um, is he sort of a one man band, as they used to call them? Or is he a part of a large company? Um, and a tutor, do you go around to someone's house and have some tutoring, perhaps some maths or English tutoring? Or do you go to a large um, tutor um, company, like that company that some of you might have seen when they came in, Nazarene came in from um, Power Tutors? Okay, so I want you to have a think about that. So here are some answers I've thought about, but there are plenty more, so see if you've got any other ones. Um, hairdresser, so I have a lady who comes around to do my hair, and she is a sole trader, she works for herself, she has her own um, equipment, um, and she is liable um, if she um, takes out a huge loan for... Um, I'm not quite sure what you'd expend. Uh, maybe um, a very fancy hair dryer, you know, like the Dyson ones. She took out a loan to buy one of them and then couldn't pay it back. She would be liable for all of that loan. Um, a tutor. So um, my daughter has um, some, well, she doesn't anymore, but mass tutoring. So um, she is a sole trader on her own. Um, a gardener. Um, it's their own business usually and they are um, a sole trader probably with unlimited liability. Um, a computer repairer works by themselves usually from home, doesn't have any other expenditure except for repairing um, computers. Website creators could be a sole trader as well. Um, small shops can be like a green grocers, um, maybe a gift shop, I don't know if that gift shop in um, Carl Shorten is a sole trader, but maybe the greengrocers is opposite. Um, a caterer might be someone who caters for uh, weddings, um, funerals, that sort of thing. They might be a um, sole trader. Um, so there are some examples. I wonder if you've got any other examples that you could think about. Okay. So key points that you need to know for a sole trader. So it's someone who sets up their own business. Um, it can be any type of business, but they have to set up their own business. They don't have a legal existence from their business. So they are the business. For instance, a gardener, the gardener is the business. Okay, Mr. Smith Gardeners, he will be the business. And they have unlimited liability. So if they have to take out a huge loan on something, they are responsible for that debt. Not um, for limited liability. If they put £100 in the business, they would only be liable for that £100. If you're a sole trader, you are liable for all the debt that you have in the business. Um, there's some summary information underneath if you'd like to have a look at that as well. It's usually controlled by one person um, and um, it's very easy to set up. 
Um, a plumber is another example. Maybe an electrician is another example. So there's lots of examples of sole traders. Okay, so um, just new knowledge I've got here about a sole trader. Um, just quickly go through this. So a sole trader is describes any business that is owned by one person. Although they may employ workers, individuals who provide specialist services like plumbers, hairdressers or photographers are often sole traders. Maybe a builder might be a sole trader as well. Um, in the eyes of the law, the business and the owner are the same. As a result, the owner is personally liable for the firm's debts and may have to pay for losses made by the business out of their own pot pocket. This is called unlimited liability. And this is really what you need to know for your GCSE, that the owner is personally liable for the firm's debts and may have to pay for the losses made by the business out of their own pocket. I guess you need to know, very important, that you need to know what unlimited liability is and that you can use an example of a sole trader. Um, just an important note to remember, um, sole traders rely on their own savings, bank loans, or maybe they might have got a loan from families or friends to finance a business. Okay, and then they will be liable for that. So if the friend wanted the money back, they would have to go to the sole trader to get the money back. If the sole trader can't pay them, they would then have to, the sole trader would then have to sell something of their own, of theirs, to pay back the debt to the friend. Okay, so um, final activity from the PowerPoint is that I would like you to think about um, disadvantages and advantages of being a sole trader. Now, this is something I want you to think about after the information that you have been given in this PowerPoint. So I want you to think about, I've got some hints here for you. Um, decision making, who makes the decisions? If you're a sole trader, you're your own business. So who makes the, de the decisions? Um, and how quick would those decisions be? Because you are the only person making, making them. Um, it's your business. So if you're a sole trader, it's your business. Um, you can do what you want with your business. You don't have to speak to anybody else to make those decisions like another shareholder in the business or another owner in the business. Um, it's your business. You can make your own um, decisions. Um, make your own rules. So you can make your own rules of the company. You can decide when you want to work. You might only want to work three days a week. So that's up to you. You can make your own rules, you might want to work only three hours a day. That's up to you because you are a sole trader and it is your business. Um, expansion. Where are you going to get a loan from being a sole trader? That might be difficult, so think about that. Um, you want to expand, but you're a sole trader. Will a bank give you any money if you are liable for all the debt? They might not. Um, depending on if you've got lots of cash in the company um, or you're going to put up your personal possessions such as your house as a security for the loan. Um, profit, think about that profit. If you make lots of profit, who gets the profit? Um, but on the other hand, if you make losses, who has that loss? It's going to be you, isn't it? Because you own the business. Um, holidays. Do you think it's going to be easy to take holidays um, when you're a sole trader? You own the business. You are the person who runs the business, um, does all the work in the business. Um, but do you think it's going to be easy to take a holiday in that time? Um, and think about unliability and what unliability limited liability means. So check back through the PowerPoint if you don't know and see what that means. Your activity is going to be um, on your workbook and it's having a look at a website, if you can, it's a BBC um, website, it's very good, about Soul Trader, but there's also a um, article, news article, um, about being a sole trader and um, what's it like. So have a look at that and um, see how you go with that. Um, if you send back the work to me and I will happily 
read it and give you some thoughts on it. And I think there is a final activity on there as well, which is a, um, a GCSE type question. Okay, thank you. Best of luck and I hope you enjoyed the PowerPoint. Thank you. Bye-bye.